Hey there folks, welcome to another episode of Let's Play with 401 Games. I'm your host Vicky, and today I'm joined with my friend Nathan and we are going to show you a two player game called Patchwork. Now this game is great for two players. Actually, you can only play it with two players, so it's <laughs> perfect for a date night or to play with your significant other or maybe if you only have one friend in the world to play with. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The premise of Patchwork is to build the best quilt and what that means is to fill up your little grid here with different tiles. Very much like, let's say Tetris, except with the quilting theme. You'll notice that with each piece there is a cost as to how many buttons it'll take to buy that certain piece as well as the time it takes to sew that piece. Now with patchwork, there's something called the time track. And with my previous example, this piece here, it costs six. So you would move your counter six spaces on the time track. So let's like two, three, four, five, six. And every button you pass on the time track earns you the amount of buttons that you have on your board, which is why it's very preferable to grab all the pieces with buttons on them as it's a way of replenishing your supply. Uh, and you'll notice that we keep going around the time track until we hit the middle, which is this red square here. And that signals the end. You cannot buy any more pieces for your quilt once you reach there. So there is a sense of finite time in terms of how many moves you can make and also how much you can afford to buy. So you'll notice on the time track here that there are these singular squares here. That's pretty much first come first serve to the first player who passes that square. And these are good for patching up holes in your quilt as it happens. Sometimes you do really dumb things like, like that and they make a really nice filler. One more thing I want to mention is this special piece here. This is called the seven by seven bonus. And the first player who is able to complete a seven by seven area on their quilt gets this special bonus at the end. And that's worth seven buttons. So it's not necessary to aim for that, but it's a good guideline in terms of how you want to build your quilt. So without further ado, let's start the game and the player who last touched a needle is the one that goes first. And since I'm always sewing, I think that I'm qualified to be first player. I would say so as well, because I don't believe I've touched a needle for about <laughs> 20 years. <laughs> I mean, going first isn't, isn't always an advantage, mind you. No. And not necessarily. Sometimes you're just stuck with really bad choices. Yes. But I am going to go for this H right here. And do remember you can only pick three ahead. Yeah, so only three ahead. So I'm going to take this guy and stick him on my quilt like so. And I pay two that goes buttons, to the bank. goes back into the bank, and I'll be green. And now I move three. One, two, three. So now Nathan, on his turn, has a choice from these three pieces. You can see that over right. All yeah. right. And unfortunately, I do not have eight buttons for that nice big one, but... Um, I am going to show you guys a special move because I do not want any of those pieces. So instead what I do is I move one space ahead and I get one button for each space that I move. So that's one, two, three, four. So I land here. Unfortunately I don't have any buttons on my board so I do not get that piece. But I did get one, two, three, four buttons from the bank because of that. Oh, very good, yes. That is called passing. So now he's banked all those buttons for a later day. Yes. Thank you. 
might be the first game where I actually fill up an entire board. You are getting there. I mean, I'm very excited actually to see you <laughs> play nearly a perfect game, honestly. So I'm gonna pay Honest, six to get this one. It's still my one. turn. Oh, is it? Ah, I'm no. on top of you. No. But now I know you want that. <laughs> oh, but do I want to take it from you? <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Yes? Oh no. Yes. Oh no. You have Now my seen. tactic has to stop you from yeah. getting a perfect game. So that's a six and a five. Oh yes. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ooh, you and get this, a. I get this piece. This is a patch, but we were missing one from the board. So this is our little stand in. Um, I'm gonna stick him here. You you were getting pretty close to having a full one I got one, too. one patch. I know. I did it. You did it. I did it. All oh. right, your turn. Okay. And you'll notice though, I can only go one more turn until I reach the red area, which is the end of my game. So I'm gonna pay two for this one because it doesn't really move me that forward. They can keep kind of going. So this one. Oh, oh no, there's that one spot open though. I guess it's not too bad to put it in here. And try to, yeah, we'll put it in there. Oh, cool. And then I can move three. One, two, three, and I gotta go again. Uh, I'm gonna keep going for these buttons. That is a sound strategy. And the game is over, correct? Or do we both have to make it in there? Oh, we both make it in there. Okay. So I'm gonna pass go. One, two, three. Do a tally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh, so close to the twenty. Almost had twenty there. Almost at the twenty. Oh no. You got a lot of buttons. I, I do. Think, I think you're good. I think I you're, am. You're pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I. You put me at a spot where I have actually no legal moves. Mm, no, you do. Because I can't afford anything. So you just get move one. So I would pass. Mm -hmm. So I get one for that. And because she passes, she goes one, all the way two, to the beginning. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wish. I could do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, over that's again. true. Actually, never mind. So I get all these pieces along the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the game is done. So uh, now, how we score patchwork is the amount of buttons you have at the end of the game, subtract the amount of negative space you have times two. So why don't we start with me because I have the least amount of buttons to worry about. I have 13. So, <laughs> but how many empty spaces do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 times two is 22. 13 subtract 22. Is nine. Is negative nine. <laughs> negative nine. I'm a negative nine. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's, let's see how you did, man. Okay, well, let's first off just count my negative spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's a whole negative thirty. Uh, see, I had less <laughs> negative space than you. Let's do uh, with the twenty. Let's do the ten. So I'm at zero now. Um, seven, so seven extra points. 17, 20, 21 points. 21, that congratulations! Is, that is probably a new record, but. <laughs> Great. But it was a lot of fun. And uh, so tell me honestly, what did you think about this two player game? Well, it is very fun. It is very, a uh, little bit skill intensive because uh, you do really need to pick up what your strategy is. And clearly, as you can see, my strategy was to pick up as many buttons as I could. And in the end, it did benefit me very well from where the clothespin uh, spacer was going around the table. And um, yeah, no, it's really fun. And uh, I really enjoyed playing the game. Great. Yeah, it, this is also a game of a bit of chance too, depending on what's available to you. So on my turn, I could only keep buying things that I could afford to attempt to catch up to Nathan. And I didn't really have buttons available to me at my 
What are you doing? You can't. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> trying to fill up the board. You're trying to fill up the board, I see. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is a great game to introduce to people who maybe don't play board games a whole lot and may be interested into sewing. Um, if any of you have significant others who do crafting or you've got mothers and grandmothers you want to bring into the fold of gaming, this is a really fun thematic one to introduce to them. Uh, and Patchwork is made by Mayfair and you can play it here at the 401 Games Board Games Lounge, or you can also purchase it online at 401games.ca or in store here at 518 Young Street. This has been Let's Play with 401 Games. Thanks for joining us, guys, and thank you again, Nathan, for indulging me. Of course, it's always <laughs> fun to be here. All right, happy gaming, guys. Goodbye.